going on guys and uh since a lot of people did like my last one-off video and uh i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna do another one of these one-off videos um this is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom for the NES because I figured, well, there's a new Indiana Jones movie coming out. It comes out, like, Friday as I'm recording this. Today's Tuesday. So, uh, play Temple of Doom for the NES. Um, a very not good Indiana Jones game, but, uh, yeah, we will basically get this started. Uh, this is, I have to point out once again, this is not a this how to beat because we will not be beating this. And I'll explain why later, so let's hit start. Alright, so basically this plays the Indiana Jones theme. This is wave one. So I'll basically give you the purpose of this game. Your goal is to save all the kids. Like in the basically like in the movie, your goal is to basically uh, get up get rid of all the kids. And uh you get the weapons from these kids. Like uh there's the kid, there's a knife, another knife, another knife. Yeah, you want to get as many knives as possible. And also like um if you get if you use the knife right here. Yeah. If you uh, use the knife in these uh, wooden things, you get bombs. I recommend getting as many weapons as possible. I will say right off the bat, the game isn't too bad until you get to the later levels. And if we go right here, there's a, there's a part we control the minecart now. One thing is that the controls definitely take some time to get used to. It's one of those games like where B is jump and A is attack. Like... I swear some of these game designers, like, did they ever actually play, like, Mario or Mega Man or any of that stuff? But, like, uh... The thing is, this wasn't, like, a... This wasn't really, like, a game that was made by, like, LJN or MySafe, one of those bad companies. No, it was actually a game made by Lucas LucasArts. So, uh... Technically, um... Actually, I was made by MySafe, never mind. But the arcade version was made by Lucas, uh... Film, but, uh... LucasArts, but, um... Yeah, so... Strangely enough, there's two versions of this game. An unlicensed version by uh, Tengen and an official release by Mindscape. I think I'm playing the Mindscape version. I don't know. I'm playing this off the Everdrive, so uh, I don't know which version to play, but these versions are essentially the same game. Your goal is to get one of two keys. The blue keys, basically, the your goal is to get one of, you get either one or both of two keys. Basically, a key basically gets you through this level. And I also point out, switching weapons is like, um, Pretty confusing as well. I guess it takes time to get used to. You have to like use a combination. This combination, as I'm rocking on the D pad, basically, uh, that's how you control your weapons. And uh, it is kind of tough. It is not very good to be in the middle of a fight and have to change weapons like that. And there's also fall damage. So yeah, I, and also lava's instant death. So uh, be careful of that. You can get plenty of one-ups, and this game does have infinite continues, so, like, it's not, like, the hardest game to beat. It's, like, some of the later levels are just badly designed. Like, I don't know if we're gonna get to that level, but I have made it to, like, level 9. That's the far- I think that's the furthest I've gotten in this game. Since the later levels are basically the reason I recommend collecting all these weapons in the early levels, that, uh... Is like, yeah, those spikes are instant death. <laughs> That's our first death. But like, uh, but like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, uh, thing is, like, uh, thing is, like, you can be fatally screwed if you're in like wave nine or wave ten and you just run out of weapons. You get all the get the bombs. It also sucks to change weapons while you're on a conveyor belt. Thing is, I watched the actual movie, like, uh, earlier today prior to recording this, because I'm binging all the Indiana Jones movies. Like, I would say Temple of Doom, the movie itself, is probably my least favorite of the first three movies, because, like, um, I don't know, for some reason, like, not only, like, um, there's Willy and Short Round, but I don't really feel it, like, kind of holds up very well today. Like, there's... A tad bit of racism in that movie as well. Like, go back and watch it. Very, it portrays like Indians, basically like a cult. Okay, so now we're on wave three. So like I said, the game isn't too bad until you get to the later levels.
And the music that pl plays, even though it does play in the actual movie, like uh, it's also the only song song you hear in most of these stages. I meant to change the whip, but uh, the whip only kills smaller enemies, so uh, yeah, be wary of that. I think it stuns the bigger enemies, but you can also stun them and knock them in the lava. The the yellow indie hats, those are basically the uh, those are basically the uh, one ups. Yeah, there's the red key. The red key can also have make you advance in the level, advance to the next level, and also uh. Let's just get more of these bombs. Alright, so... Yeah, with bombing, you want to basically time this right. Yeah. There are these spiders that jump up upon you, so, uh, yeah. And they do, they do a lot of... They can basically knock you in the lava. We're gonna... And no, 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 no. Okay, good. No, no. I don't want to get knocked in the fucking lava. That snakes were Indiana Jones's kryptonite, not spiders. I need to get more knives. Well, gonna, if you hear that uh, Indiana Jones like sound, like that means you got a one up. Try and remember. I know there's another entrance to the my car. There it is. Yeah, this is where the exit is. Also, that boulder is instant death, so I'd be wary of that. I just want to get as many bombs as possible, and also the gun, basically, that also allows you uh, to whip across that. That's the blue key, so we can get out of this level. Fuck. We have eight lives. I guess it's nice to respawn in the same spot you died on, so there's no, like, punishment. There's... I would say this is like the hardest NES games because like Ghosts and Goblins is way harder than this. It's just the later levels that's uh... I don't know, you might actually make a series of attempts. I'm not the thuggy in the lava. I guess this game does kinda resemble the movie, like, there's the... It basically resembles the second half with, like, uh, the thuggies and all that. And one annoying thing I haven't elaborated to earlier is that, uh, the levels do loop. So it can be kinda be confusing, so, yeah. Right. He's going the mine carts. Alright, there are more children to save. I want to see I want one of them to have a key. Alright, sword. I wanna get the damn sword. And missing an easy to get sword. Alright, there it is. Another sword, another sword. We need as many swords as possible, so we need some bombs. Fuck, no, 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 no! Okay, good. We got another extra, we got another extra life. I'm waiting for another thuggy to go up on mine cards. This is eventually getting to the point where, like, you have to, like, uh... You have to kill the thuggies and earn the mine cards. Map. I think the map is helpful for one of the later levels. Alright, there's the blue key.
Everyone, uh, come on. Th come on, you thuggies. Come on. I've also heard, I've never seen it happen before, but if you get, if you run the clock out, I've heard also, uh, Mola Ram comes and rips your heart out. So yeah, the, that, that's another element from the movie. Um, so I think, I think there's another way to get out of the level, so, uh, yeah, we can use that door right there. All right, wave five. The bats. I see. I feel like Zelda basically uh, pretty much laid the ground rule. Like every bit, like most adventure games, should have bats in them. I mean, I know it's Indiana Jones, but still, like, uh, there's the bat cliche that I call it. I'm just gonna say fuck that kid. What does he even have? Well, I do need more sword. I'm not gonna risk a sword for to for. A, I'm not gonna risk a sword just so I can die in the process. There's another indie life. Basically calling them indie lives. I don't need. Well, got that sword anyway. I'm I'm not getting that second sword. I want to get that blue key so I can maybe go to the other area and exit the stage. I want to figure out- you basically just got to figure out which kid has the blue key. That, that allows you to exit the stage. A map, but I think I might need it for a later level if we if we even make it to that level. That is. Yeah. Fuck is that key? Like I get it. This was in the movie too. No, 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 no. no. So much for getting a one up. Where the fuck is that, uh, alright, get that, kill that thuggy. Alright, there's a key, could I use that? No, I think, I think we need to go back to the minecarts. Okay, I think I need the gun. No, I don't, I need the bombs. I'm not risking it that I just want all three dead. Okay, what are in these kids? Alright, sword. And gun. I could use those. Alright, can I get out of the fucking level? The bats make such annoying noise, I have to point out. No. Yeah. Thank you, you fucking bats. I need to go back in the minecarts. Where the fuck were those doors? Alright, there. I think there was a door. And I like the placement of that door. More guns. And the level's basically looping. Boom six. Alright, so you go down. I'm basically going where these arrows point. 
Like I said, the game isn't too bad until you get to the later levels. And I got knocked in the fucking lava. I I'm just, I'm just gonna come out and say it like uh you're you'll be surprised how bad these later levels are if we make it to them and I just that's it's basically why I don't expect to beat this. I think these are the scorpions, which are like the spiders, only faster. No. Oh, okay. Spikes are instant death, and lava is instant death. I want another gun. I want the key, damn it. Get the bomb. I am so sick of hearing this music. There are two Last Crusade games for NES. I might record them after I'm done with this. Where we start to have ourselves a little Indiana Jones marathon. I think it might be a point gap when we get, you get lives. I'm just gonna go to the fucking minecarts. Actually, I'll just get these kids first. More swords. More swords. I love me some swords. You know, I'm just gonna go in the fucking minecart and make it easier. Alright, here we go. Uh, come on, give me a key, give me a key. Alright, the, the upward sh is upward where the key is. Nice, not gonna be noun words. We just need either a red or blue key. Alright, indie life. I'm basically calling them indie lives. Right. I just want to see if I can get more weapons. Indie life. Or well, a scorpion and a bat. It's fucking great. Because I decided to play this because there's a new Indiana Jones movie coming out. I'm actually going to a, thir a midnight screening of it. Not a midnight screening, but like a Thursday night screening of it. Movie comes out Friday, but I'm going to an early screening. I want the movie to be good. Because, like, I did see Kingdom of the Crystal Skull when it came out when I was, like, a kid. And I was, like, even then, I just didn't really find it very good. But, like, I want this movie to be good. It's it's the last chance you'll ever get to see an Indiana Jones movie. So, like, uh... Yeah. I've always been a fan of the franchise. Okay, I'm gonna game over. Okay, I have nine lives left still. Where's that key? Do I have can I not get that key? I'm confused. That oh, I get it now. We have to use the gun. You know, did this fucker have the key? No, I didn't. Where's, all right, which one's the gun? I forget what the I forget what the key is, and I'm starting to run out of lives, so I don't really like that. Yeah, okay, I can't make I can't make jumps from an angle, so I should figure that out. I want that- I almost got that blue key. Fuck. 
You are starting to run out of lives, and I don't really like that. Even though this game does have unlimited continues. The bats are pr so fucking annoying. See if taking the cart helps. And I didn't go fast enough. Alright, gun. No! Let me knock in the lava. I don't want a game over. I don't have to start the stage over. And I don't have the whip equipped. I need the gun. The jumping controls are god awful. Come on, Thucky. I don't have all day. I have more Indiana Jones games to play. How do I get across? Yeah, I'm gonna run out of lives. See if taking the minecart helps. I don't remember if I have that blue key or not. We'll find out when we reach a door. And that's my last life. Hold on. Right, there's a lot, at least the lava, so... Oh, there's a lot of things that lead to lava. I'm trying the minecart. Okay, that's game over. Day. Yeah. 